Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Jedi Fury CD3, and Prince Reaper has returned. We are going on to game two. And actually, update the actual stream title stuff because that was an hour ago. Holy crap. Okay, we are on Comet Catcher. Comet Catcher it is. So sorry about that little short break. But. Wait. Oh, Flip Sip's not back either. What? <sighs> Used to have my tea. Tea is good. So, did you see the Homeworld remaster? Yeah. Have you tried it yet? No. Ah. Looks nice. Yeah, it's quite pretty. I've played it a little bit. I was actually I was planning on doing a stream of it on Wednesday, but I ran into technical problems and I got home late from work, so I didn't have a chance. I want to do that at some point though, because I only played two, but it was really cool. Mm -hmm. I only played the first one. Ah, okay. The remaster takes much more from two than from one. Although it does incorporate but, but, some one-ish mechanics, like formations, it apparently reincorporates those, but I'm not sure how. Anyway, <laughs> game starting. So we have Clone and Princey have one game one. We're on Comic Catcher, Clone and Princey over to the south, and Clone is going for Eastern expand or Eastern Center, light vehicles. Not sure what flips them in norm. I mean, flips them in norm. I'm. They're not going to go for cheese, I don't think. I mean, I know that they're... If you look at the overall LO, like, basically, if they can knock out Princey early on, then it's 2-on-1 against Clone, and they have an even chance. So, I mean... Yeah, but the Comet Catcher also isn't really a cheese map. It's that's the other to thing, cheese. too. I've never really seen a successful cheese on, on Comet Well, Catcher. you can do the economic cheese, where you just overdo the economy in the early game. That's Clone's play, And just though. gamble... Um, on a slightly passive start of your opponent, and you do the passive, more passive start, and then you, your economy grows quicker. Yeah, but that's more what a clone would try to do. Although Norm going for very quick hovercraft, we haven't seen hovercraft in a while. That is interesting. The miss. Maybe we can do a maze drop. That's something that yeah, would work. Yeah, that would actually be very powerful. I mean, it's risky. But I don't though. see gunships. <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, I haven't seen any of those uh, gunship Lift drops. Hasn't, yet. Oh yeah, gunship's not going. That's true. Really surprising too. There's a lot of talk about that. It was, I mean, the big deal in the forums. I am quite surprised yeah. it hasn't come up, actually, now that you mention it. But anyway, that's not really the point because we aren't seeing that. But yeah, that would be that would be an interesting thing to do. That would be the sort of cheese that actually would have a chance in this map. Yeah, because distance. It's hard to scout it in time. Mm. And I think transports are the fastest unit in the game. By a small margin. Like it's Dart, Swift. I think Valkyries might beat them. But even then, it's still really tough. Even if they weren't quite the fastest or they were the fastest by a small margin, it'd be very tough for the Swifts to catch up. And they just need to drop the maces off and that's it. But no, we're actually seeing a bunch of daggers early on. And Princey gets a nice view of exactly what's going on, knows exactly where everything is set up, so Clone and Princey well informed. Flips have been Norm on the other hand, they don't really know. They... oops. They have... some idea of what Prince Reaper has. They have no idea of what Clone has yet. And they just see a bunch of planes running around. Messing with them, scouting everything. Like, Clone and Princey know exactly what's going on. They have full vision. Well, they had full vision in the base for a while. But Flips and Norm, they are just now... Just now pulling into the vision. And even then, they still haven't found Clone's base. Found a couple of Vendel Extractors. They found the Commander. They, they're just desperately trying to find something, anything that they can use. 
I won't be able to get rid of this metal extractor though. It's one thing. But a dagger, two daggers for a metal extractor, not the most efficient trade, I'm afraid. Oh, they found out about the air. That's important. Well, they already knew. They saw the Swifts coming in. They, they saw the Swifts all around their base. Mm. That was the scout coming in. What they don't know is where Clone is set up. This is the time when you want to know where the constructors are. Yeah, which is actually nowhere at this point. In fact, Flipstep and Norm have much more in the way of constructors. Actually, it looks like Flipstep and Norm are going for exactly the thing you were talking the about with hyper economy. Like the scouting's over, and now they're just pushing their econ. A few they need to catch there, up with their energy because the only Maxis won't get you anywhere. That's actually happening too. Flipstep setting up power plants everywhere. Norm, not so much, but no. This is uh, the lower level players. You can't keep up with the energy production. They don't. They don't think of it. I don't know why. My own oh, but this that dagger. Up. That's perfect. It, it can take out the con if he. Uh... Oh, don't nope. you don't need to go for the main base. Nope. Just skirmish the. And well, actually, that this area, might work. It'll get rid of for metal like constructors. That That's the most important thing now. Which he knows I where the constructor is, and he would should focus on it, on killing it, or yep, he does. They do. They know where it is, but unfortunately, the scorchers got in the way, and those daggers, they can barely be saved. No, they can't. <clears throat> the ravens no, gonna take them good. out. Daggers over they the west side of the map. However, these are they gonna? They're gonna go for more snipes. That's a nice snipe. There, nice shots. I mean, flips yep. up and norm. They have their uh, energy. The commander is still close up. by, so it doesn't. Yeah, that's Let's not see. the biggest deal. Now that that constructed there, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, that's just type of multitasking that uh, Norm cannot do. Sadly, for their sake. Although, admittedly, what they can do is build their energy. They have that up. Took them a little while, but they have gotten their energy production. They have. Have they beat the plus twenty hump? No, they do. They do not have caretakers yet. But they're building up economy instead, so that works for now. Okay. Lift up on the other hand, setting up the caretaker. They want to avoid excessing. But uh, it's easy for Norm now to uh, keep throwing away units. Yeah, they do have the economic that's advantage. Called, uh, come back. That's kind of the thing. Like, Norm is... It's one of the things that... It's a mistake I make all the time, too, and I've got to get away from it. It's just a common level mistake to throw your units away because it's easy to do so, and it feels like your units are built so quickly that it doesn't matter. And yet, this isn't subcom. This isn't Supreme Commander. Your units actually do matter individually. If they die... You can't just rebuild your army that quickly. So you're going to end up losing. And even as a Supreme Commander, you probably don't want to lose your units that often. But it's definitely this is a game where it comes up. Yeah, definitely. Now, again, they need to or not at their aircraft so they can defend their area. Yeah, not as another one They're where you can throw your them. units away and it's not that big of a deal. Princey, stop moving. <sighs> yeah, kind of the same story as last game. They're get ahead. In now it's time to get out of those raids. Yes, they should keep raiding, but also add other stuff. Well, what they need to do is send a few units here and there to raid while building up behind the raids. Which they're kind of doing, but I mean building up stronger units to get out of the raiding Yeah, phase. why do shadows have uh, splash damage? I never really got that. It's very minor splash damage. No, it's not. What? Isn't? I thought it was. Wow, I... Is that mistaken? Where is the splash? Air of effect, 16 Elmo splash. So it's not huge, but yeah, it's there. Hmm. Yeah, because 16 Elmos, I think, is... I'm trying to remember how big an Elmo is. Like... This... No, it doesn't matter. But anyway... Yeah, it is it is pretty small. Like, it's about the size of a... It's the size of most units, so if units are overlapping, it splashes. It looks like... Going to... Cutting through the center while Norman Flipstep were are just securing their entire backside. Scalpels are not what they used to be. <laughs> no, no, they got actually. They didn't oh, dagger, what are they called now? Yeah, daggers, daggers. Sorry, scalpels are scalpels are still quite powerful. In fact, scalpels would be a wonderful idea, especially because given look, how they're forward almost the, the economy of Clon and Princey, but their army value is about the same. Yeah, it well, tells you about the efficiency of the of the use of their units. Yeah, but actually, scalpels would be a great idea. Because the commander's right up front there, and the Scorchers, okay, they, they kill them, but they had the protection on top of that. They could get rid of the commander easily using scalpels. Yep. Okay, so the Norm side. added air, which is good. Flips are trying to raid in the southwest. Norm protecting with air, gone, well, gone for the air switch. 
Norm and Princey both. No, sorry. Princey's gone for the tank switch. That's what I should be saying. Gone for Heavy Reaper. Don't really have the money for it, though. Only 20 metal. It's It can work, sort of, but not as well as you think. Not as well as it would say 50 metal. And especially, hit the caretakers. Hit the caretakers. That will kill them. One caretaker down. One. You need all of them. All of them need to go down. That The spare no, caretakers. No, no. That's... That is a good reason to build spare care or build more caretakers than you have the metal for. Is when you get harassed, you have spares, because Princey mm -hmm. lost no effective build power in that raid. No. That was a big loss for that was a big loss for Flipstep, but Princey didn't care. That didn't matter. Oh, I should. Not Derek, you, come on there. Sorry, people watching the stream, do you like having the economy view all the time, or do you prefer when it's only on briefly and occasionally? I, I don't the really Reaper. know which one is better, but anyway. <clears throat> yeah, the Reaper is gradually moving forward. Now it's time to throw in two or three Stumpies and uh, go hit uh, the defender wall. Stumpies? It's the Berg... Uh, yeah, the tank. Ravager. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember, I'm used to the zero K names. I haven't played Total Annihilation <laughs> in years. Well, it's it's the name of the, the tank in every other TA game. That's true. XTA, BA, whatever. But the only other TA game I've played any of is Nada for casting purposes because I was asked. Anyway, Norm's commander is dead because they didn't jump <laughs> and takes all the <laughs> the scalpels with him. Oh, well, yeah. Ouch. That was a lot too. It was about a dozen or so. But now Clan one will lose the center if he. Wants to. Well, I was about to say actually that Clone is going to really push now. You know, he can oh. do it. He can do it. Don't be so shy. Uh, well, Clone is going for a center cut. <laughs> flip, 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 and Norm can surround that and smash it. I mean, that center cut strategy only really defenders works. are annoying, but four of them are not that big of a deal. Uh, they are overwhelmable. Let's put it that way. Yeah, even if a commander that can just put down a nano frame. Clone and Prince, Clone could have this just smash down, just and like Flipstep and Norm could continue to expand very solidly down, as they're continuing to do. They're slowly creeping down, the entire yeah, time. Yeah, they're, they're all doing, doing well. Doing. I, I'm commenting on it, but uh, they're doing just fine, despite uh, they didn't make all the optimal moves. No, but um, ultimately, the Clone's center cut has not paid off. And they have not taken the back, but Princey has not taken the west side at all. Princey has captured very few metal extractors. Clone has been capturing all yep. of them, while Norm and Flipstip are pretty even. Flipstip a little bit more on the capping Princey game. Princey didn't do any ecoing. No, Look, Princey was he going didn't take the metal extractors on his side of the map, which is you cannot just do slowing that. Slowing it down. That's just that's the thing. It's been slowing them both down. Clone has to take them because someone has to. Yeah. I mean, Flipstip could take. Flipstip is very close to being able to actually take those metal extractors. And yep. certainly in position to destroy them. <laughs> All the skills. Oh yeah. Well, those those daggers aren't going to do much. And Clone able to push back with that nice little ball of scorchers there. And Clone's still only going light vehicles, switching over to Ravagers, but has not done a factory switch yet. And nice hit with the Thunderbirds on the scalpels once again. Clone. I mean, this is kind of what happened last game, too, is that, well, Thunderbirds into Crow was what happened last game. And Princey is not doing a bad job. It's more just that Princey's lack of economy, lack of construction, has slowed things down. Unfortunately, Flips have not paying attention to these Scorchers. They are not doing anything here. They need to go north. No, it's okay. It's okay. You cannot uh, do this. <laughs> Defenders and LTs everywhere. And he's... North? No, running not, straight uh, into uh, the units that come out. <laughs> Sorry, the, the southwest though. There are three naked mexes in the southwest. Oh, you're talking about other scorches. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I don't know how to. Ah, the commander died too swift. <laughs> well, anyway, I can't seem to make middle mouse button work. Oh, that's why. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, anyway. I think this is GG. Yeah, I think flip step and lack of economy of uh, Princey. I blame Princey. <laughs> like that's the thing is, I don't really understand the shift over to heavy tanks when you have a factory running full power and only thirty metal. Thirty metal is fine for a single heavy tank factory, but when you have two factories and they're both running at full, 
I don't know, it doesn't really work. Uh, and yeah, the Econ Gambit worked out. wanted something more durable. Well, I can see the reason for that. It's just more Princey didn't ha Princey had the economy available. They could have taken the metal extractors to have plus 50. Easy. I mean, everything near them. If they took that, that's... There's plus 16 metal or so that's right next to them. That clone took instead of them. That's... That's enough metal for both. But whatever. Moving on to game three, most likely. Although there may be a drawn out comeback. I can doubt it. Yeah, let's double check the north. You never know. We don't. Three Reapers. Okay. Look at this, though. Flips have going for nuke. This, yeah. Yeah. Flips have going for nuke. Air switch from Norm. Air pad from Norm. So Norm is properly investing in air this time. And. No anti nuke. Not even a guess. I mean, 12 minute nuke is definitely early, but given the advantage that Flipsip and Norm have, that's a good finisher. They wouldn't yeah, expect most it. Definitely. They wouldn't expect it. They can't scout it because any attempt to scout it's got to go through about five layers of defenses in order to get there. It's just. The entire area is a massive web of defenders. The eastern side is the only weak section. And even then, that's fairly strong. And I don't think. Do Clone and Prince even know that? No, Clone and Prince don't even know that that's weak. I mean, Clone is guessing right. They're going over to the east side. They're taking that out, but that's... That's not relevant. And they might be able to stop it. It's just... This, this is going to be, what, three minutes after this is done? This has gone another ETA widget's completely messing up on this one. I don't know why, but yeah, it's gone another... Probably... Minute and a half before it's built up. So, five minutes. If the game lasts five minutes, flips up and Norm win. If the <laughs> game doesn't last five minutes, it's because flips up and Norm already won. And Flipstep and Norm are not really less resting on the laurels either. Flipstep pushing forward with levelers doing everything they can to tear apart what Clone and Princey have. I mean, they tore apart the center. They've taken the center. They've done exactly what they need to do. They have more than half the map. They have this entire section. 60% of the map is theirs. Clone has most of the rest of the map, and Princey is apparently just sharing. Their economy is apparently just being Clone's economy and then pulled to them. It would be nice to uh, see the game go with the nuke. It would be kind of funny, and I think it's going to happen anyway, because Flipstep doesn't quite have the firepower to breach Clone's defenses. It's basically a question of whether or not Clone decides, okay, this is game, move on to game three, I'm not going to waste my energy here. And now we have the three minute countdown. So at the 1738 mark, a nuclear missile will be ready. Clone and Princey will not be. Unless the stream's numbing, in which case they will see it because the delay is not three minutes. It's like two. But yeah, it looks like Norm and Flipstep trying to break what they can, and they're breaking quite a lot. They just aren't breaking it super quickly. <laughs> there are two idle Reapers in the base. Oh. Where? Oh yeah, yeah. there are. Yeah, right behind Clone's factory. That is a little bit awkward. A little bit of a last-ish defense. They're, they're, just, they're on guard. They're... They're just holding the home fort, you know? Making sure that nothing hits them. At that point, they might as well just drive off the map. But, you know, I'm done with this fight. I'm just gonna leave. I'll be I'll be in the bar if you need me. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to get shot at. I'm kind of done. It's like, I'm just gonna leave, you know? gonna leave the military. You can do that, right? You can just, you can just sort of leave the military. Say, hey, I, I'm done. See ya. Yeah. I think they're okay with that. I've never tried that. I've never been in the military. But, you know. That seems like that's how the tanks are operating. That's their logic. So Norm... Norm's still throwing away a lot of units on the eastern side of the map. They're throwing daggers here and there, mostly as a distraction, it seems. Flipstip... They're operating more defensively, throwing some raids in, but once again, they're getting back to donation mode. I mean, they're being a bit careless, and it's... No, but this time the advantage is Oh so yeah, the big, advantage is totally lose. theirs. I mean, they have a minute and a half and before they no have a nuke. there are no choke points to exploit. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they have a minute and a half, and then they have a nuke. The fact that they're kind of half stalling might almost be a giveaway. If it weren't the fact that no one ever does a 15-minute nuke. Ever. Except on uh, Comet Catcher or Speed Metal. Yeah, sometimes then. Sometimes. Speed metal, definitely. Comic Catcher, 
I haven't really seen that happen. Usually still half an hour. Usually, but... Yeah, I don't know. See, the thing is that, at this point, it's a question of whether or not Clone and Prince... No, they don't even last that long. 30 seconds away from Aww. Shiny! It was 30 seconds! But it never happened because Clone and Princey threw in the towel, and now we have Game 3 with Clone and Princey's choice of map. But that was... That was kind of amusing, though, just the fact that it was almost, almost going to be a nuke. Yeah. And I don't even know if they knew. I mean, there's no way they could have really outright known, but it's still, <laughs> it's still pretty amusing. So, you know, if it lasted another minute, it's like, no, we can hold out, we can hold out, we can hold out! Never mind. <laughs> GG. So it's either Zen or when the nuke hit. Red Comets. <laughs> oh yeah, Titan Duel. That's a nice map. What? Are they... Yes, they are. Titan Duel it is. Oh, wait. What? Okay, Clone wants Titan Duel, Princey wants Red Comet. Okay, Prince is okay with this. We are on Titan Duel! Yeah. Hmm, this should be interesting. I think this will work a bit better in their favor because Princey won't need to expand as much. It's a uh, corner indeed. start. He can uh, focus a bit more on the units. Yeah, Princey can go in the back, set up air, <laughs> throw things around. Clone can deal with... I mean, Clone already knows how to deal with that in 1v1 easily. Clone, we, I should say, we know Clone knows how to deal with that in 1v1. It's basically the same game. The only thing is that flips up in Norm, they can expand faster. That's going to be the tricky thing. That's generally what's been happening in these games, is Clone has been expanding, Princey has not. And the other team has just been pushing for it. And without delay, we begin. Well, at least start loading. There we go. And we are on to game three of the semifinals on Titan Duel. I need to actually update the descriptions on the various streaming services that I throw this onto and see where it sticks. Game three on Titan Duel. Titan Duel it is. Yes. And then we shall have, where is it? So yeah, Titan Duel. It is the map of the day. Well, no, not really. Although it wouldn't be bad. I mean, we have had tournaments where Titan Duels come up a lot more. This is not one of them. Norm going for air in the back. Flips up going for light vehicles in the front. Princey also air in the back and clone in the front going for... Wait, why are we talking about... Tanks and vehicles against tanks and vehicles. Yep. No, it's air. Air and vehicles against air and vehicles. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what game you're watching. Air against the field and air. Sorry, did the other semifinals start without me? <laughs> Anarchid, why are you talking I think about one headphones in the bath? Thing and say the other. Oh god yeah. damn, you're ugly. What? I'm, talk I'm talking to the commander. Okay, so I'm thinking, my goodness, have I gone totally delusional? Am I the only person <laughs> seeing what's happening in front of me? Anarchids are you talking gonna... about bathing with headphones. You're talking about some hypothetical game where they're going tanks, vehicles, mirror. And then you're... Yeah, now he's f the, 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 the jump commander is face palming like... <laughs> I mean, I remember three tournaments ago, I ended up throwing some random thing about the English Civil War when I got tired to the point that I was delirious, but that... I don't think I'm that tired now. Anyway, we have Flipstip's dart. Gonna wow. take a windmill. Wow, Flipstip's dart in a great position, gonna die. Yeah, but <laughs> as you, we all know, uh, windmills are the best anti-dart unit. They are, that's true. Because everything blows up around a windmill. As the windmill dies, the dart's triumphant, and then the fan blades smash them in the face and destroy them. Hazard to darts. It's a hazard to darts and birds alike. Now, who has the best air game? Princey? Princey's been practicing more uh, in the last Norm, few games. Who has the better uh, air game? Okay, given the last... Okay, so the first game, we saw Princey and Norm go for air, but Norm went for an air switch. 
and Norm actually did dominate air for about 20 minutes before Princey managed to get back with chainsaws, basically. And even then, Norm was still pretty powerful within their own territory. Now, on an air start, Princey getting an early advantage on the swift missiles, but even then, it's not the biggest deal. I don't see it being... Oh, come on. Well, Princey continues with swifts. Uh, Norm has made one bomber. Yeah, the Swiss are good against these type of raiders. Yeah. Oh, he didn't. shouldn't try to get in. He should just be happy with the information he has gotten and continue from here. Actually, it looks like Princey is expanding as well, so it's not like it's going to be the last couple of games where Princey was basically not expanding at all. They're moving forward. They're doing stuff. And Princey is coming in with more Swiss. It looks like at this point it's still fairly even, but Norm... Norm is already switching over to Ravens. This is very risky. I don't... I do not agree with this move. At all. Like, Norm, they could pull it off if they went to the exact right points and bomb the exact right targets. But they get one shot, because they're sacrificing air control when they don't have it. Mm-hmm. They're spending a resource they do not have. They're loaning air control, that's what it is. Unfortunately, they're loaning it at interest. And they're going to have to pay up pretty soon. Yeah, Flip Slip is just keeping... Uh long back with free scorches. Yeah, they're, they're just checking them. They can't, they're not letting them go Not dedicating to any skirmish, just, just... No, just body checking. Or body blocking. That's all they're doing. And it's working yeah, out pretty well, too. Clone could, can't uh, really raid, and flip step discouraging. Because we know that clone is not going to go forward if they don't have to. And flip step uh, knows that clone is not going to go forward if they don't have to. They have, um... Evened out their economy. Mm-hmm. That is very true, and Fluon actually going for it, he losing a Scorcher th for that, ouch. Losing, yeah, Oops. losing two, although that's going to be even. That's actually, Fluon manages to break through that and very nearly destroys Flipstip's Scorcher setup. I mean, there are still more Scorchers on both sides. Flipstip has most of them in the back, Fluon's much closer to the front lines. Fluon can actually smash through this one last oh, Scorcher. Oh, that's a waste of an AA truck. Dangerous. Oh no, why to do that? Oh, I the can... commander! The yeah, commander. well that's, that's... That's... That's what I meant wow, by hitting the exact right targets. Also, oh, I didn't realize you could would lose all your shadows, or your uh, ravens, to a commander blast. Ooh. Well, they were very close, they were very... They were all bunched up, and also there were still some Swiss around, but uh, like I said, they got one shot. And they... they Norm used it! Norm used it very well. I can't I disagree think it's with a fair trait. Uh, yeah, totally. It's good totally. if you lose your bombers to that a was, commander. That was exactly what Norm fair. needed to hit. And they hit the right spot, so that's fine. No disagreement there. And it looks like they actually haven't lost all that much air control either. I mean, Flipstip... If you look, Norm has about mm -hmm. half a dozen Swifts, and Flipstip has nothing. Princey has two Hawks and two Swifts, and has switched over to Ravens themselves. So it looks like Princey's commander also getting heavily damaged, and gonna go down... Is it going to go down? Oh, that Scorcher going for yet another attempt to dive, oh, and down yes. it goes! No Clutch more kill. Commanders. Edge of the Heat Ray, this but does it. Pulls it out. So that is two commanders down. That's a lot of metal and build power. Oh yeah, definitely. That is, and they have at this done. stage in the game, that's a quarter of their economy. Yeah, right there. And they only have one constructor out, one mason. Oh, with the one mason in the base and a... Rain in the oh, that metal extractor almost dead. But yeah, oh, that metal extractor is dead. The Scorcher able to get another pass in the metal extractor over to the south, take it out, cut off southern control, and Flipstip could easily take. Actually, Flipstip or Norm, either one could easily take that south side of the map. It's just huge. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Iken's pointing out Norm's plan is to make Princey overcommit to air, and that is exactly what has happened. Mostly in that Princey has assumed that they have air control and they switched over to Ravens. When Norm, they went for the Ravens just for the comm snipe and have been going entirely for Swifts since. Mm -hmm. So they're putting, they're lulling Princey into a false sense of security and then after that it's just going to be, those Ravens are going to come out, they're going to get wrecked. They're going to get torn to shreds. Nothing is going to come of that. Or it's going to be very difficult for anything to come of that. Something might. Something may because Flipsip's commander is fairly far forward, but even then... As long as Norm is paying attention, it should be fine. And down goes one Swift, down goes another Hawk. 
I think that's how Princey you use fists. Yeah, I think Princey realizes a missile and boost out. Exactly. I think Princey is going to realize that they haven't got much to go for, and they're gonna just go for it though. I try to find a commander. Finding Norm's commander, and Norm needs to jump. Jump, Norm. Jump. Good, Norm. And he does so, but it's Norm he jumps. Has, uh, no, it's not. It's fine. Modules. It's fine. Okay, they okay. repaired exactly. Oh, oh no, no! Oh, One came in right at the end, got sniped out. All the Ravens did go down, but once again, a fair trade. As Norm, 15 metal and cannot build a heavy tank factory. That's the biggest loss. They can't build a forward heavy tank factory. I mean, forward Kodachis and possibly forward Panthers. That would Panthers especially would have been handy getting rid of the Scorchers and just breaking through Kuhn's lines. And now they have to pull up a Mason, or not Mason, pull up a Crane, pretty much. Or Flipstep's gonna have to push Metal into that, one of the two. But that is a massive blow. That was timed beautifully. <laughs> Still, a lot of harassment going on, on the south side that nothing is dealing with. The Swift's just tearing apart Metal Extractors. The Swift's tearing apart everything. And yeah, Flips are doing exactly that. They are they are building Norm's factory for them. Very kind of them. At the same time, though, Norm is going for a crane just in case, just to have that extra ability to you know create their own constructors. Now, what is Norm going to build? Be Reapers, Panthers, Kodachis, Goliaths, right off the bat, at plus fifteen metal. <laughs> what are they going to do? We don't know, and neither do they. They'll figure it out eventually. Ravager, unfortunately, does not do particularly well against Scorchers. Levelers do fine, Ravagers do not. And, oh, just to answer the chat questions, Spring has been updated. To, it's We want to push a 0k to Spring 99, and it's likely, but there are still a few, like, there have been some crash bugs in Spring 99. That's why I had technical issues earlier on, because I was testing that and I needed to reset my settings to fix the crash bugs. There are some other bugs too with the camera. If you notice the way that the camera tilting is working, there are some bugs with the rotation, which I'm gonna have to double check to make sure if they haven't been fixed. But yeah, that's there are a few outstanding bugs, but 99 looks like the best candidate since 91 for a good spring engine for 0k. So it has it's, this is on 91, but 99 is we're hopeful that 99 will be a good target. But anyway, that aside, back to the game. Clone switching over to Slashers, good choice, though the Ravagers can tank through that. But still, very good choice. Makes the Swifts much more wary. They have to be careful where they go. And it also means that some heavy assaults can happen. But yeah, Ravager Scorcher mix would be nice. And, well, Flipstiff taking Norm's commander, which is exactly what they should be doing. This is a very good play here. And Norm is... What are they going for? They are going indeed for the Reaper. Or... Yeah, the Reaper Ooh, is there. That's a nice uh, Scorcher raid by Flipstip. Oh yeah, getting right around the back. There was no defenses. There actually surprisingly have been very few defenses this game. There are a few defense turrets here and there, but really not very many. And they've been getting knocked down just one after the other. There's another defender going down right now. Or, no, no, not no. quite, not quite, but still. Ooh, that should have gone down too. If that had gone down, that Scorcher would have lived. And at the same time, Swift's continuing to go around, continuing to harass. I mean, Norm has had so much value from those Swifts. Like, each of those Swifts yeah, has gotten true. at least two stars of veterancy out of like as, at least made twice cost. At least. Some of them five times. But it is a it's still a real problem for Flown and Princey. Those Swifts are just... They're ripping everything apart. I mean, there's good defense on the ground, but not much in the air. And even then, on the ground, there's still a lot of raiding going on. Princey not able to really secure that. And the commander being secured by Flipstip. Flipstip eating up all of the commanders. They ate, they ate their teammate's commander, Norm's commander. They're creeping up on Princey's... No, Princey's commander was taken already by Princey, or by Klon, so that's fine. Sorry, Clone's commander was eaten by Clone. Princey's commander is getting eaten by Flipstep. Flipstep ta basically taking the southwest. And the northeast has been taken. But Princey's vehicles, they already had vehicles. Clone had them. Yeah, well... No, oh, whatever. I don't know how much it matters, though. I mean, Princey, you're right. Princey did just switch to vehicles. That was... 
Kind of weird. I, I misread the team colors. I don't know why, because I can distinguish green and blue. But anyway, doesn't matter. The point is, Clone and Princey are in a tough spot right now. Although the Swifts, the Swifts throwing their lives away rather foolishly. Norm losing uh -huh. all of their Swifts. They don't it's really a have very impressive power, Thunderbirds. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't really do much, did it? <laughs> There's not much to do for him. That's true. There isn't much left. And with that, it looks like Clone and Princey are about to surrender. Yeah. I'm assuming Team 2 does refer to Clone and Princey. Yes, it is. Yeah. Hmm. So, it looks like that is... about... game. That is the match. Yeah, so... Wow. Well done to Flip, Sip, and Norm, turning it around after that first game. I mean, that first game, they almost had it, but then it got turned around on them, and they couldn't quite keep up. But it looks like, as long as the game doesn't go on too long, and as long as they have that economic advantage early on, they are in a great position. They just need that early economic advantage, that's the thing. If they lose that, they are out. Okay, Prince Reaper apparently is not wanting to resign. Yeah, Prince Reaper is, is not resigning. They're refusing to resign, which I can respect in a tournament. I've mentioned it before in cast, I don't like when people don't resign. Oh, but they have a comeback chance. I see the comeback vehicle. Yeah, the Dominatrix. That's what I mean. <laughs> don't resign in tournaments. I'm fine with you not resigning in tournaments because it's a tournament. Like, Especially if it's game three and you're about to lose and you have to do everything you can in order to not be knocked out. Go for it. That's that, that I'm fine with. It's just exhibition matches. Those are the only time I'm. Like, it's just if it's just normal play. Don't don't bother. Like just resign. Go to the next one. But tournament match. Don't resign. For goodness sakes. Be tenacious. This is exactly what you should be doing. Princey's doing nothing wrong. Lon has proven that you can still win from a lost position. Oh yeah. So if there your is, opponent is willing to uh, cooperate. <laughs> if your opponent's willing to, you know, <laughs> lose. But still, Clone, however doesn't have what they need, and that is game, that is match! Flipstep and Norm win 2-1 against Clone and Princey, very close. And while they didn't quite take out Princey and then win that way, they did take advantage of Princey's, at least in the earlier games, lack of expansion. That was the biggest thing, they didn't expand. And Norm and Flipstep, they expanded. So, with that, we have the first semifinals match done. It only took two hours. Like, yeah. Mostly the game one, which at least is good. At least when I split it up on YouTube, I'll make a part one, part two, and part one will be game one, so it won't be spoilery. And there are three games, so at least, you know, you have to watch them all. 